Hello and welcome back to Antidepressing. This is the show where we talk about everything from liturgy to Lexapro. Ooh, Lexapro. <laughs> we're almost in sync. Uh, we're so excited to have you here for our first ever Not Together episode. I mean, Chanel, it's been very hard on us. We're not in the same place, but we're making it. So we are also joined by the lovely. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Do you want me to? Oh, boy. Go for it. Okay, this is um, Blake Flynn, and this is, wouldn't you know it, Megan Flynn. Oh, yeah. Wow. His better half. And we're going to really dive into their life in a minute here. But first, Chanel, can you tell us what you're doing on a tropical island and what the vibe is over there? Yeah, so um, I just decided to go on a trip. Um, I felt like really loving me, and so I'm that. in Bali, actually, currently. It's the shoulders. Uh, uh, being, yeah, yeah I know. Thing for me. <laughs> I know this would have been really convincing if I actually had like a good green screen, but, um, <laughs> but no, I am, uh, I am on a trip currently. Um, <clears throat> I walked from the kitchen to my childhood bedroom. So, um, this is, you know, this is our bare beginnings. Uh, and so I'm just really happy to be here and, uh, you know, and, and we're just making it work for, for the millions of people that are listening to this podcast. We're doing this for you. So. Yeah. I love that for you. What have you actually been doing? Okay. So actually, um, I have been celebrating my 30th birthday, hey, yo. <laughs> um, which is so <laughs> crazy. Um, I'm 30 flirty and sexy and hot and whatever they say. Um, so <laughs> yeah, so say. it's been really fun. I went to a nice hotel. Um, I slept a lot. Um, I bought expensive food. So just like true immersion into just like insane overspending that I'm going to hopefully do more of in my thirties. Um, Absolutely and, incredible. uh, and yeah, I've just been like hanging out and, uh, just working. I miss you guys. We were at camp before. Mm -hmm. So now I'm home for those that have listened, um, two weeks ago. So it's been like quite a transition, not seeing people every day, but, um, but yeah, besides that, just working, celebrating my birthday, online shopping, you know, all of those like wow. really fun things that, um, that, you know, love to spend some cash so I mean, but how are y'all doing you guys are like living lake life hanging out with kids swimming for 10 hours like what is that about how's that going you guys share first honestly Blake can you tell us a little bit about your day yesterday tell us about the food yeah July. absolutely um so we've been at camp it's yep. been uh you know it's been it's been tiring but we got here to the lake and I grabbed a beer and I As headed for should. the water and I, I don't think I got out. So, <laughs> no, it was it was awesome. The sun, it was a beautiful day. The water was bath water. Oh, I was living the a dream. Life. Tell me how you ended your day with fireworks. Um, yes, <laughs> it was <laughs> ten, and the fireworks were going off around me, and I, I decided to get back in the lake with a Naturally. beer and a brat. So. <laughs> Beer in one hand, brought wow. in the other, and it was it was incredible. He's fully immersed in the Wisconsin culture. Yes, wow. I've never seen Land of the free so and the home of the brave, as they say. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I, I had it. a great day. Megan, but... tell us about you. Um, yeah, the time has been great. It's been just a big blessing to be here. Um, spent the day eating watermelon and large amounts of Jello. So feeling, two different vibes. Uh, <laughs> feeling <laughs> pretty good. Um, and yeah, just enjoying the sun, hanging out with everybody, and. Yeah, it was relaxing, but also like fun and social. So it's a good mix. Man, I you know that you are really hanging out like with Jasmine and her family when your sentence starts with spent the day just eating because that's <laughs> like 99% so of the time when you're hanging out with them. It's like if they're not offering you something to drink, it's like something to eat or just a place to nap or just like, yeah. oh, it's that's that just vibe. rocks. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. how I'm that trying to live so my nice. life. It's been wonderful. I love that for love us. That. We're all doing great. Um, we're all doing, we're all thriving. Um, just, baby girl, how are you? What's oh, going me? on? I honestly forgot that I have to answer for yeah, myself. Yeah. I am same. I am living the lake life, loving it. Uh, my kids are loving swimming. It's a vibe. They're hanging out with their cousins. Mm -hmm. Everything's been great. I'm loving the little break from camp. Camp is great. Um, but having a little break has been welcome. It's been so strange. And, you know, at the same time, prepping for our last week of camp next week. So gearing up for that, we're having camp at the high school that I went to and that I used to teach at. So very weird, like, worlds colliding situation. But I'm excited to do that and then be done. It's amazing. Yeah. 
I'm it's ready exciting. for it. I'm ready for it. Um, now that you've told us about Eureks, can you tell us who you are? Yeah, I'm Blake Flynn. Okay. Um, I know we already know your name. Yeah. Like, can you tell us <laughs> That's who I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm Blake and name, I'm Megan. Like, that's us, my name. Okay. What do you want to know? Tell us where you're from. Tell us any uh, recent exciting things that happened in your life. Okay. Uh, and then tell us, mm. um, ooh, your favorite flavor of boba tea. Oh, that's so ooh. good. And if you were a noodle, what would you be? Go. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Um, that was a lot of prompts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, go. Okay, sorry. I, I had to rethink back to the first one. Um, I am from a small town in Michigan. Uh, Love it. Little Belding, Michigan. So. Cute. Yep. Represent. Yep. Yeah. Neighbors. Uh, Wisconsin neighbors. Yep. Okay. We love um, it. Yeah, I graduated school. I just finished my last paper like three days ago. So, Wait. whoa! Thank yeah. you, thank We're you so, so much. Proud. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I think I passed. So you know, I should be graduating. If every, I'm not. I don't know how the whole I'm thing works. Confident for you. I feel like the advisors could come back at any moment and just be like, Never psych. Mm. You, if you don't you graduate, do we'll just make a really awesome reel out of this. We'll yeah. splice this part, and then it'll be like four days later. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're like at your college. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're yeah. we're we're hopeful that you will. You have a great you have a great little support system, and yeah. you work really. You know, hard, I've been so, trying yes. for a couple years for yeah. a good couple years, and if if it didn't work out this time, I That's I might it. just move on. You just hang that up. <laughs> yeah, it's not for everybody. Yeah, so we'll see. No, it's good. Uh, business school. At a small Catholic college, Love and uh, we made it. So, I'm just waiting it. for that little piece of paper. Um, if you were, a, or what's your favorite flavor of boba tea? Boba. First? Um, what, oh, taro, taro. Wow. Yep. Fire. I love that. Place. I was introduced, and it is very. It's it's so good. I'm it's so, so happy good. for you. Um, if you a, were noodle, a noodle. Yep. Probably angel hair. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's a well, confidence then. because of this hair. Yeah. <laughs> or ramen. Oh, I should have said ramen noodles. Ramen, you could honestly be a ramen noodle with how much you eat ramen noodles. So that's it's okay. Fair. Okay. That's okay. Okay, Megan, Megan? same yeah. question. Okay. Hi. Yes, I am Megan Flynn, Blake's <laughs> wife. Hi, yes. Um, <laughs> yep. And um, I... What am I supposed to, what I do for a living? Or, yeah, okay. tell us what you do. Oh, where I'm from. Um, yes, I am from Norman, Oklahoma, home I'm of the Sooners. You. Yes, thank you. I currently live in Belding, Michigan with Blake. And okay. yes, um, I graduated college in December with a degree in psychology. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yep. <laughs> thank Ooh. you thank you very much everyone so proud. <laughs> thank you crowd um <laughs> and yeah i am currently a substitute teacher when we're back home and not at camp and looking for my next move in life so we'll see who knows where i'm gonna I be in a that. couple months but i love that yes she's open i'm very open so yeah and then um my favorite boba tea is taro milk tea with black oh, tea good thing and I'm just married. classic boba mm -hmm. yeah good Cute. thing we're married because None of those popping pearls. Yep. She's yeah. doing classic. Yeah, I like the classic. I like the popping pearls when they're on Froyo. So oh. 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 smart. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. So yeah. And then um if I was a noodle, hmm, probably tortellini. Oh. Because you know they got, it's got the cheese inside, right? And you also have cheese inside. And I also have cheese inside. <laughs> um, it says outside people are like excited to see me. Yeah. But then inside they're like, ooh, a little surprise, like a little sneaky. <laughs> Just okay. real cheesy, you know? Love so. that. <laughs> Stay I love cheesy. that so much. Yeah. That's me. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thanks. Well, before we get into the bulk of why we asked you here today. I feel like this could be an intervention. It could be an interview. Who's to say? Who knows? We're just going to dance a little. Are you ready? Oh, Whoa. gosh, yes. We didn't tell you you had to dance. <laughs> We made it. Wow. It's weird to not dance next to Chanel, but you guys did good. Um, you guys very did good. Impressive. Thank you. Very impressive. Okay, so the reason we gathered you here today is because you are musicians who write incredible music and you're our friends, but that's a side note. Um, and your focus lately has been pretty like mental health heavy, and we're excited to hear about that. But first, tell us a little bit about when you started doing music, why you started to do it together, 
And the subplot, which is honestly more important to us and most of our listeners, is like, tell us a little bit about your love story. Because we're here for that. Ooh, that part, that part. Skip. Skip yeah, to I know. that Emphasize part. That. Okay. Love that. Do you want to start? Um, sure. I'll okay. start with the music stuff. Okay, you got it. Yeah, get the boring stuff. <laughs> yeah, she can she can tell the love story. Okay. Um, yeah, the music stuff we did net ministries, uh, right out of high school, and Babies. yeah, I was playing piano, and in classic net fashion, mm-hmm. yeah, she she came over. <laughs> I don't know. My cousin always jokes that I just sat down with a guitar and started wooing her with a with a guitar and a, a love song I like that image yeah. yeah but um yeah then she came over and she started singing and I was like oh my gosh you you are really good um and then we kind of just started hanging out and wrote a little a little ditty wrote a song <laughs> um yeah and then Eventually, she came to visit in Michigan. We recorded the song under a different mm-hmm. artist's name and released it. You forgot to say our first time performing. Oh, yes. Oh. Tell us. Okay. This was like the first week that we had met. Megan actually signed us up for oh. like a talent show. <laughs> I am obsessed. Without me knowing. I am obsessed. Aww, what did you sweet. say? Sweet surprise. A little I, I said, surprise. I said, I can't do this. Mm. I don't want to do it. I was, I was really shy. Uh, at that point in my life, um, wow, she I was like, you. I don't want to do this. Uh, I can't do this. And her motive behind that was she knew that sh- she knew that we were going to have to practice. Yes, we have to hang out. So we had to hang out. Oh, my God. So it wasn't j- she didn't want to be in this talent show. Chanel, are you taking notes? <laughs> Honestly, I'm taking notes transcribed in it. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Good, good. She just wanted to practice. So that Vibe. that's where the, the music started. And now wow. we're here. We've we've written a lot of songs and yeah. That's iconic. I kind of love how the music side also weaves into the romance oh, side. Yeah. So Megan, mm-hmm. tell yes. this from your from perspective. Pretty forward sure. in a sneaky way, and I'm here for that. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Um yeah, I really it's funny when I look back and whenever we tell people about kind of how we met, I'm always like, Who is that girl in the story? Because very unlike me, honestly. And I feel like I was pretty shy back then. And I really just think it was the Holy Spirit that was forcing me to make these moves because it was meant to be, you know. So, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, we'll do this talent show. I thought he was such a cutie. And then after Net, I was sad because I didn't want to leave Blake. We, like, didn't talk too much the whole year. Um, We just kept in touch, though. And then whenever we went back home, I went to Oklahoma. He went to Michigan. I was sad Mm -hmm. because I was like, oh, my gosh, I just like have so much fun with you. I just feel like my life's more at peace whenever we're hanging out because he was so nice and he was just kind of a hottie too. So I was like, okay. And then, (laughs) and then I went, whenever we were leaving, I said, I'd love to come visit you because Mm. we need to do music, Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. And Mm -hmm. it's also, yeah, it's also notable that both of us would probably like, we both did music before each other, but we didn't do it where we would like release it. So see, yep. we basically, I spent all of high school in my younger years being like, I want to make music, but I don't really have the means to do it. Yep. And then mm-hmm. Blake was like, I want to make music, but I feel like I don't really have the means. So then we're like, wow, it's really good that we met because we kind of were each other's like ticket, you know, that we needed for music. That's cute. That makes me yes. emotional. That's cute. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Same. Um, and then, yeah, I was like, all right, I'll come visit you. And he was like, I'll believe it when I see it. And then I basically called him like every day for a month and we just talked on the phone a lot. (laughs) Are you okay, Chanel? I'm not okay. I got some chills. I was like, I saw you checking your arm. I saw you checking your arm. Yeah. And then like one day we, we thought the whole time like, oh, I like him, but he doesn't like me. And he thought I like her, but she probably doesn't like me. Classic. And then... One day we spent one phone call, fourteen hours long, just chatting all what? day. It like went to didn't work. Even know your phone went like overheat. Oh, yeah. It we just had to keep plugging it in, and sometimes we wouldn't talk, and we would just hear what each other were doing in the background, and then we'd be like, "Hey, how's it going now? Like, what are you doing now?" And so 
that's when we should have known, but we were still like, I don't, I think we're just friends. That is wild behavior. Yeah, really wild behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Who let us yeah. out of the house? I don't know. <laughs> I know, I love this. Yeah. How old were you at the time? We were 19. Oh, yeah. Oh, my that gosh. Is, yes. That is so cute. Yeah. I am not okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I was one day like, okay, so how about these dates that I come visit you? It was July 12th through the 16th. And Blake was like, oh, my gosh, it's almost the anniversary of that. I know, almost. Yeah. We need to discuss what we're going to do, but carry on. Yeah. And then, yeah, so he was like, oh, you're actually going to come? And I was like, yeah. And then I spent way too much money on a plane ticket than any 19-year-old should ever spend. But I was like, worth it. And then I went there, and we were really flirty, so I should have known. And then the next morning, we found out we liked each other. And maybe I'll just say it. Found yeah, out. because Tell Blake gave me a hug in the morning, and I kissed him on the cheek. And then he kissed me and then I oh. screamed <laughs> and I was like, I guess you like me, huh? And he was like, yeah, I do like you. <laughs> and then I screamed some more. So <laughs> can you describe the scream? <laughs> um, like it was like, squeal? Ah! like that. <laughs> Thank you. I needed yes. that. <laughs> yes, it was a squeal scream and I couldn't hold it in. I don't know where it came from. I was just really happy. I and love this. Yeah. And now we've been together a long time and a fun fact about the day that we started dating this is kind of funny um Blake asked me to be his girlfriend on July 16th and we both only dated one person like seriously before each other and later that day I was feeling kind of weird because I was like I just like want to tell you something kind of weird I was like it's my ex-boyfriend's birthday today and we just started dating and we're uh -oh. he was like really that's crazy today's my ex-girlfriend's birthday and so we were like, what? We started dating on both of our exes' birthdays. Yeah. So every year on our that's anniversary, kind of revenge. we wish them a happy birthday and pray for them. So here we are. Oh, that second part's really nice. I was like, Thank that's you. like the perfect, like, <laughs> like yeah. that is yeah. so good. My petty yeah. response was going to be like, ooh, and then every day, every time on our anniversary, we like you know light a birthday cake and just throw it into the street so that's totally I'm like but you, you guys are better prayer is also great so do yeah that. but prayer Happy is fine you. too yeah we're proud of you thank you thank wow. you wow yeah so that's that's us i mean that's a stunning story i'm a little speechless chanel i i don't know i am literally and for me so just, you know, because it's my 30th birthday um, year, I just, you know, if we could circle this back around me, I have Always. been on hinge and um, it's pretty scary out there. Um, I got a message that I would like to share with you all. Oh, no, Please I'm scared. Read it aloud. Please read it out loud. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is our new segment called Hinge Unhinge. Yes. Please Please let us hear it. Is this like they messaged you for the first time and this is what they said? Yes. Yeah. Love this. So this is, oh, maybe this I shouldn't. This is what we do in um, our free time. So it's Alfonso. <laughs> Whoop. Okay. So. <laughs> Sorry to put right. you on blast, buddy. <laughs> I hope he's listening. What'd you say? I know. Sorry I know. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't show his picture. Okay. No, so he commented on my picture, which was me laughing on a beach chair because, of course, I look elegant, sunshine, golden Natural. skin. Um, and he commented, um, love some of that chocolate milk. I said, <laughs> I said, um, LOL, kind of weird, though. Um, he said, want to go get some ice cream? Because I commented that I love ice cream no, on my profile. No, um, no. And then I just unfollowed him. So that's pretty much um, me. And so, you know, I'm just going to take some time and hang up this call and just grieve a little bit. Uh, although I'm very happy for you all. Um, so, yeah. Just figured that I would make wild. it a little bit about myself. So <laughs> I'm that's just so sorry. This is like oh, wow. every That's week. not even the worst. It, it really oh is not. Gosh, Jasmine agree. and Steven have heard the worst. The and worst. one day we're just going to do a whole show. Maybe we can have y'all on and we and could all just hug each other while I read through some episode, of my matches. You know? I'm just scared. Like this, he, he probably thought long and hard about like what he's going to say. And that's what he came up with. That's what I want to know. Do they think or is yeah. that like. That can't be the first thing that comes to your mind. If that's the first know. thing that comes to your mind, that might be worse. Like you need therapy if that's yeah. the first thing. But also yeah. if the you first thought thing. about it and we're like, this is a good response, you also is need Is that therapy. worse? I don't know which one's the worse. The first so thing what, that came what was to his, his name? mind. Whatever your Love name is. Um, Alfonso. I hope you get the help you need. 
Yeah. Yep. Same. Love some of that chocolate milk. So you know what? I mean, I just <laughs> like I, 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 I oh honestly, God. I honestly get it. And I don't know if you can see the picture. Wait, I'm going to have to expose my bedroom again. So oh no. to show you. Thank you for doing but this. But it's like your bed. It's like is great. I look like so cute, though. Adorable. I would look at that picture and think. Chocolate and milk. say like love some yeah. of that chocolate milk <laughs> so anyway wow. um happy for you guys that thank you wild thank you so much that is wild um shifting back into music life okay. tell us a little bit about this album that you just wrote and what the center is and why yeah um, megan's like i exclusively talk about romance <laughs> yeah. on this podcast I, yeah. <laughs> I am just here for the romance which honestly same but but anyway so uh our manager, Will. We know him. Familiar. You know him? Okay. Familiar. Will is a great guy. And he has really Fast. pushed us a lot. And he's he came to us and he was like, you guys, you guys should do an album. And the thought of that sure. was insane because yeah. I was like, oh, we're, we don't have the music for it. Like, you need a theme when you have an album. And we only had like five songs at the time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We had had some like unwritten. Yes. Oh, we're fresh. Yeah. I don't know. The songs that we had were, I didn't feel like they were great or finished or worthy mm -hmm. to be put on an album. Um, and so he really pushed us, which mm -hmm. was, which was good. And that is what, what we have now today. Uh, feel something is the album. Amazing. Uh, there's 12 songs. Um, and yeah, some of the songs were written like three or four years ago, wow. or at least started conceptualized. And then we like rewrote some of the bad, <laughs> I don't know, lyrics like that we just yes. didn't like. Made some edits. Uh, okay. Made some edits, you know. And the whole album, we're we're very happy in our relationship, and we love each other a lot. But we end up <laughs> writing. I should preface. Yeah, yeah, we end up writing a lot of sad songs. I believe yeah. you're happy. Yeah. I've seen it. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. For the people who will listen to the music and think, is this gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor Swift wrote a lot of sad songs, which we was with Joe Alwyn. That's true, <laughs> and, that but also they then. are broken uh -huh. up now. But the yeah. summary is, you can write sad music while you're happy. Yeah. yeah, facts. So yeah, we write a lot of, I don't know, our a lot of our music ended up just being like emotion centered, and Love so it. then I said feel something in a song, and then that kind of became. The, the mm. title of the album and the uh, cool. theme, theme, the yeah. theme. So, nice. yeah, a lot of just being real mm -hmm. um, that there are there's some there's some hard stuff out there and there's some hard days, you know, but uh, we, we have some happy songs, too. But yeah, but mainly sad, mainly sad. <laughs> it's alarming. That's not it's alarming. Yeah. So tell us about like why focusing on like mental health, because obviously some of your songs hit heavy on mental health related topics so yeah. why was that important enough to you to like incorporate it into your music yeah I think just being like genuine and mm -hmm. being real uh about like the human experience yeah um yeah I think that's really what it comes back to we didn't go into it being like oh mental health is a huge thing for us we we really want to you know create awareness for yes. this but mm -hmm. uh that's kind of where the album went. And so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I think we like looked at our lives and a lot of the times when we're actually writing music, we'll try to put ourselves into a story. So mm -hmm. even though we're not like experience, you know, experiencing this type of hardship in our life, we really try to dive into what this person is feeling or thinking or what their situation is. And we kind of, we build this story around the person and then, uh, we'll, yeah, write a song out of that. And so I think that's where a lot of the mental health stuff came from. That's really cool. Yeah. I think also too, um, <clears throat> so sorry. Um, I think too is like the, a lot of the things that we talk about in the songs are things that we have actually felt at some point or a lot of them are things that I feel at some point. And then, um, I just find myself thinking like I'm the only one in the world that feels this way. Mm. And then that can just be super isolating and like, just make you feel like the worst. Um, Love. and so 
<clears throat> I'm just so sorry about that. <laughs> but you're doing so good. Thank you. Everyone's Thanks, doing great. We all have I'm very goals. impressed by this whole thing. I'm very impressed. Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And I just think like through hearing about like our friends too and like the things we talk about in songs are things that most people feel at least at some point in their life. But maybe they don't know how to say it or express it or they feel like misunderstood. So our hope is kind of like, I just want people to listen and feel like someone else is like there with me. And like they obviously wrote this song so more people feel this way. And I don't know, just making sure people don't feel like lonely or left behind. Yeah. Mm. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. I love that so much. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling inspired. Jasmine, I have a quick little thought. Um, Hit me with you it. Know, Okay, yeah. Something that I love from y'all is that your music is um, sad girl vibes, mm. um, but Sorry. also really bopping. Like I was in the car yeah. listening to this song that we're going to talk about today. And, um, and I was just like, yes, my therapist tells me not to say sorry. As I was like rolling into our grocery store, just like sad about something, but also it. kind of dancing. So I love that you guys can combine those two things. And I'm curious, like what inspired pop music? There's a lot of, um, you know, sad vibes out here, a lot of slow yeah. things. And I love screaming it as much as the other girl, but <laughs> like, why, why pop? I mean, cause you don't normally hear like real lyrics with like a dope beat behind it. So why that? Yeah. Um, well I started like producing and, uh, creating like rap music, hip hop rap that's stuff. Started. Yeah. That's how I started. And, uh, so in high school, I was like I, so deep into that world and that's the only kind of music I loved and I hated pop music and I hated all the mainstream stuff. Of course, because um, you're a hipster on the low key. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. different. Yeah, he's yeah, different. He's yeah. different. He's just like Chanel. Yeah. So <laughs> different. <laughs> so I hated that stuff and then I went to net mm -hmm. and I took a break from listening to that kind mm. of music and when I returned back to it I was like wow this stuff is not good <laughs> this is r like there are a lot of things that it's are I was problematic I used, yeah, yeah I used to be singing this stuff and <laughs> like now really listening to the lyrics yeah, this is just not, changed not man, good though. for me no. and so yeah I like kind of shifted away from that and mm -hmm. we were making like coffee shop vibe music okay um, yeah kind of like singer songwriter music mm -hmm. and that was cool but we knew that we wanted it to shift uh more into the pop world of stuff I started to listen to a lot more pop because I wasn't listening to so much rap yeah um and there were a lot of cool things and because I was so I was doing so much production then I was more so like listening to the music and trying to figure out how they did that or how I could you know, do that. Yeah, totally. Um, and so for me, that's kind of where the pop came from. And Megan's... I love that. Yeah. I feel like Megan's voice is crazy. And it's literally so insane. If yeah. you weren't a little coldish, I would be like, sing us a little something. Yeah. Um, I was literally going to be like, girl, if last. you were not like not feeling well then i'd be like how about y'all like sing us a little how about tune you just perform or something, a little something. Just like give us a little something yeah. um but i know you can't perform right now because we're all having colds mm -hmm. um yeah. but can we play a song can you Absolutely. hit us with like one from your album that's maybe coming out that can summarize a little bit of absolutely of the vibe here nice yeah we love having a phone available yes but yeah i i think like her voice is too crazy it's and insane. pop kind of uh, the singer songwriter it's just it's a lot more chill it's a yes. lot more uh she can show off she can really show off yeah and so what did someone at camp said like you it. sound like somebody i forgot who it was it was like someone very good yeah i one time oh who's the person that sings the middle because when oh, you sang yes. that live they were like oh there it is you sound Her like name is Marin Morris? I feel like you know I think Marin know. Morris. Maybe. You know who else you sound like? Haley Stein Steinfeld. Okay. Wow. Um, I don't you. even know who she is. Oh, ah, 
we don't have the rights to play our music. Yeah. Um, let me look up what she sing saying. Sing us a song, okay. Chanel. Sing us a song. I do like Okay, her. wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me look up what she's saying. Wait. Okay. I love when Talk Chanel sings song. on the podcast. Mm-hmm. This is so much better. Let's not have the musicians sing. Can you sing us a song? Yes. She needs okay, she place. goes. Ready? I wasn't starving till... Um, I don't want to say those words because they're not good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I way, know where you're by going. By the way, something words that I don't want to say. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you sound Only like the her, real ones but we very by that. Yes, thank you. That's actually so true. Yeah, I've had yeah. it's been fun this summer, like getting comparisons of people being like, "Oh, you sound like so and so. You sound like so and so." Um, because Mason, one of our sound in, our sound engineer, he was like, "You sound like Adele." And I was like, oh, that's like so I would have never said I, that I sound it's like fair. Adele. But I also um, when I listen to other artists music in the car, I always imitate them. And so you're pretty good match. Like thank you're you. good at matching people. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes in the car, I'm like, who was that? That wasn't me singing because yeah. I sounded just like them. It's impressive. <laughs> but but even you. like you sing that Lauren Daigle song. And I mean, Lauren Daigle uh, and Adele sound the same. That's my hot take of the day. Okay. Um, yep. Which I think is a lukewarm take because I think it's more of a fact. And sure. Wait, wait, I missed I it. What was it? I think that Lauren Daigle and Adele sound the same. Lauren Daigle is just like Christian Adele. Um, <laughs> look out look out she said it and everybody's like no they're so different and i'm like well yeah but no it's like different in, in a way that's the same yeah they sing different music yeah. but in a similar way you know yeah. in like same power way. singers yeah yes. yeah they're uh-huh. definitely and power you singers. can you can channel that vibe all Thank day you. but then you've got like the pop girl thing oh, yeah. she's a chameleon hey, she can be anything you want yeah you want yeah, it? She's she a tortellini with sweet filling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sweet I cheese. Totally, totally a surprise. Did not expect it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Thank you. Okay, you ready to listen to the song? Yeah. I'm Let's so ready. Should we dance? Boy. <laughs> friends they don't know me they think that i'm just a good time but that's just the old me now i'm locked up in my mind i wish that they would stop calling but i don't want to feel lonely two weeks since i even saw them they don't know that i'm just in my head now drinking too much coffee never get enough sleep or take care of my body i should get a hobby Yeah. I mean, I could listen to it all day. Thank you. Okay, Chanel, I have a question for you. Okay, Think back yes, to the lyrics. What? We're going to play a game. What line from that song reminds me you the most of me and then i'll tell you which one reminds me the most of you let's blast each other go okay here we go um well first off while you guys were playing it i was looking up like an appropriate background for listening to it so i feel like (laughs) wait oh but i couldn't get it to work it was gonna be really cool it was like a dance background that's okay next time um okay so let me see um i did listen to this a lot this you need to think back to the lyrics so let me re reassess okay i can tell you something about you do you want me to do you first I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to get negative feedback. So is it positive or negative? <laughs> it's um factual. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right. I'm Which ready. And then I'll think. Yeah, you might misconstrue as negative. Um, there's a part in like the second verse. Mm-hmm. We didn't listen to that little part right now. Sure. Something about like leaving people on red. Oh, yeah. You don't do that oh. to me. You don't do it to me. Yikes. But a gauge of Chanel's mental health. In case you guys are like, I wonder how Chanel's doing. And you ask her, she's going to say fine. But if you take her phone and figure out how many unread texts you she has, that's how you know. That is me, Chanel. Ten or under, she's well. 
20 or over, oh, wow. she's not okay. Oh, if you look at my <laughs> wow. phone and it says like 74, I'm like, I'm just not, not in a okay. good spot. Like, I um, can't talk to yes, Not to put I am... come last, but it said 78 before this. I'm a little worried about wow. you. <laughs> and I think we should talk about that later. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, Jasmine um, is the best for just like making you feel so supported through that. Right now, I'm at a really spicy 124. <laughs> so I, if, if for everyone wondering, I am not doing well. Huh? 124? But this is not about me. This so. is like a cry for help, Chanel. <laughs> I know. But, but that's so also the part- a sign, one, that she's not okay, and two, that we haven't seen each other in like a week and a half. Because yeah, if I'm with her and she's at anything over 50, I'm like, sit down. I will read them out loud to you Love and that. we will respond. Because 50 or above, like that is like, you need to be institutionalized. If you're at 124, I'm worried. I know. I'm I'm slowly spiraling. We'll Keto, talk more after that. That's okay. Because... <laughs> I'm in, I'm in uh, Bali, so it doesn't matter. So, right. so it's all fine. But so, Blake, are you okay? 78 is a lot. You know, Or is yeah. it mainly because you were in the lake for eight hours yesterday vibing? Yeah. I've been at the lake. Okay. I have been at the I mean. Lake time is Blake time. Oh. That's yeah. your new friend. I like that. <laughs> I do like that. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. Yeah. I'm trying to fit the aesthetic. Yeah. That's good for him talking about his feelings. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick yep. story. Tell us. We we told you our love story. Um, we, did. we met. Uh, Megan was with another guy, so she was really trying to limit Oop. her uh, communications with me because she yeah, was like, oh, I'd, "She's trying to remain yeah, respectful." Don't want to. Yeah, don't. That that wouldn't be good. So it's not the vibe. Um, she eventually they they ended, which of course so sad. Oh, no. Just um, put me on blast. Megan looks no. embarrassed. I'm scared. <laughs> Megan, back in the day, was a very, very bad texter. And Still am, but not as bad, on. not as bad. But working. she texted me. I messaged her. This is when I knew that she was she was single. Oh, okay. And I messaged her back. And six weeks later, oh no, she picked up the conversation. And at this point, I was like, that ship has sailed. She doesn't like me. It's over. And I was like, I'm That's back. fair. Yeah, yeah she was like, like I'm, I'm back. ready now. Yeah. I'm so emotionally she, ready. Yeah. So yeah. she responded and, and it's it's she okay. She just responded but, to the text. She didn't start a new conversation. No, no, no. She yeah. responded. She just kept the conversation. Six weeks going. later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you address like sorry it's been so long? Or you just Um, I used to not, but these days I just when I sit down to go through my texts, I make a little stock text like, Hey, I'm so sorry. It's been so long since I've texted you back, I just have been really busy and I haven't made it a priority because, you know, I, I try to be honest about it, but my texts just really overwhelm me. And they did back then, yeah, too. That's so, fair. Yeah. That's but fair. I was just going to say that that has rubbed off on me. I think oh, I've no. just, I've, no, I've you're just a bad gotten texter. worse. But you're also with like the greatest person right. on earth. So, so there's why no would need. you text anybody else? Right. There's know? no need to, yeah. to text. So, yeah, yeah I think... Uh, we have low battery. We have low battery. Emergency. Oh no, the Mac has low battery? Low battery. Well, we only have like a minute left. Nice, okay. So it's Great. no stress. Sure it okay. If this dies, yeah. then, you know? Great. It's Let it all be good. what it'll no be. No problem. That was God's plan. Well, yeah. Jasmine, to answer your question though, um, Thank you. quickly, um, the part that reminds me about you is um, actually not a lot of the song because you are one of the most mentally well oh people wow. that like, really i know annoying. Um, <laughs> you you are very mentally well and stable which is why i need you to stay that way because i'm at 124 text messages oh my and gosh. I need your help if i lose it when I see you it's again. all over it's you guys over. won't see this podcast you won't see yeah. us i don't know i think <laughs> yeah. the only part is the part about drinking too much coffee oh yeah but that. like you but that's I mean, not that's just like your life trait yeah. i would claim yeah. i'm fine i'm fine. yeah <laughs> i'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah i'm fine absolutely. everything's great thank you chanel for saying that yeah no problem so, so nice. um, i love that for us quick question for the flinians you guys you make music that speaks to people um you make bops that speak to our bodies speak to our minds and speak to our That's bodies the one. um and i'm just curious like what are your wishes for the mental health of those around you? Like, what do you hope to see? Um, how do you hope that people can be better? Like, how do you hope that people can improve? What are you observing? Um, I think 
find some find some friends some some good good people that you can just be real with and mm. uh I love that. just just chat with them they'll they'll really i think if they're a good friend they'll they'll appreciate it and be there to support you through what you're going mm. through cuz yeah at the end of the day i think everybody wants to see everybody happy you know so that's beautiful thank you yeah. thank Megan? you yeah i think for me um i'm a really big empath and it is really hard oh. for me because honestly Sometimes it feels like a burden sometimes mm-hmm. because it's heavy. Um, but when the people around me are struggling, I just just plummet into the depths of sad because I feel it super deeply. Um, and so I just want everyone to be happy all the time. And I think, too, like my biggest thing, I always see this on social media and I love it, is like check in on your happy friends because mm. I feel like. I'm someone who's like pretty good at just saying like, oh yeah, I'm fine. But inside I'm like, I am not fine right now. Um, And so, Mm. yeah, I feel like just checking in on friends and like whether they say it or not, they like really appreciate it. And people like everyone needs to be checked on. So I feel like just make sure your friends know that you're like always there for them and that find friends who will always be there for you and who won't judge you whenever you feel like you're feeling a little crazy sometimes. But yeah I love that and just let yourself feel how you feel sometimes that is is. me in a nutshell feel your feelings Megan I was wondering like why I liked you so much and then you spoke for the last couple minutes of this podcast and I was like "Mm." I love that I get it I remember now yeah Yeah. I'm recalling I'm so wondering why I I liked you (laughs) let's (laughs) contemplating our friendship couldn't remember why I liked you yeah yeah thank you I like you too Chanel you guys, it's been Thank an you. honor. Our first time having two guests. Our first Thank time you. not being next to each other. Wow. I, I'm loving this for all of us. We're honored that you guys wanted us to be a part of this. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Always. Every time, honestly. It's going to be hard to do it without you. But I know that Blake needs to go jump in the lake. So <laughs> we have simply got to go. Yes. I, but we lo- Wait, can you guys plug like your social media, your Spotify, all that for us? Oh, yeah. Um, you can find us on Spotify. Flynn all caps um, f-l-y-n-n yes. f-l-y-n-n and apple music apple music like yeah on, on all of the uh, major the music platforms um and then our instagram and facebook i think they're the same flynn dot music beautiful we yeah greatly appreciate they're also Your crowdfunding support. for an album right now. Yeah. I'm just going to plug it. Like, you. They're crowdfunding for their album, Feel Something. Mm-hmm. I mean, you heard a little bit of a little tease, which will be coming out soon-ish, I think. Very exciting. Some new music off the album. One has already dropped, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm your marketing team now. <laughs> um, so please follow them. Hit it up. Listen to the music. Support the crowdfund. Share it with your friends, mainly. Mm-hmm. Emphasis on the share it with your friends. Uh, they are so good. I don't even think we mentioned, but obviously you're on net and you're on this podcast. So they're Catholic, Mm -hmm. but like Catholic people making music that isn't just like Catholic music, which is so fun. Um, So support them, hit them up. It's nothing but goodness. And there's yeah. um, there's merch too for people who crowdfund. So that's merch. Fun too. Yeah, they got a little vinyl. So look out. Oh, yeah. Already ordered it. Vinyls, <laughs> trucker hats. There's oh. some stickers. There's hoodies? there's some hoodies. Um, yeah, oh, we have. Stuff. 12 songs great. and we're going to be releasing one song a month for the next 12 months a 11 months a whole year of wow. goodness yeah, yeah. so wow. uh thank, thank you guys so much i love it can't wait uh don't forget to rate us on spotify Sm- say it smash that like button <laughs> tell your friends comment subscribe whatever flynn's music will make you feel like this guy on my right just popping <laughs> just feeling just loving life so yeah he's really shaken he's shaken so you know um just don't forget to uh comment like us whatever tell your friends follow us on streaming platforms yada 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 because the world is depressing but, but we, we are, are not, not. Bye. <laughs>